this former chocolate plant turned marijuana production facility is giving new life to the town of Smith Falls, Ontario. And the owners hope their product and suave marketing skills will resurrect the tourism industry too. It works really well when it's all females and you don't stress them out. So again, this is a lesson, gentlemen, you should think about. Welcome to Tweed. Before this plant was producing high-quality cannabis, it was producing high-quality chocolate for Hershey's. Tourists used to flock to Smith Falls for their chocolate fix and a tour of the facility. And now Tweed is resurrecting the tourism tradition. And they come up to the door and they knock. And the same question or the same structure is, I was here like 15 years ago. I wonder if you still do tours. And we have to explain, well, now we do. But what you see and what you smell is totally different. And so this is where we talk about the science of how and the work we're doing on it. Tweed now hopes to attract tourists back to the sleepy town. Even the mayor is on board. They're investing $150-$200 million into this campus. So that means a, a big increase in our industrial tax base, plus the economic spin-off of more jobs. And then the attraction we've become as, as a, a community on the rise. Tweed is part of the Canopy Growth Corporation, the first cannabis producer to be listed on a major stock exchange. Linton hopes the visitor center and tour will help dispel myths and stereotypes. So we're not trying to have them like or dislike cannabis. We're trying to say this is where it came from, why prohibition ended, uh, what it could do for you maybe medically. This is how we're going to spend the next 10 years doing those medical evolutionary steps for many, many indications. Um, and then have a little fun, enjoy seeing what we do. The Tweed Tour gives guests a history and science lesson in marijuana. And of course, to answer the question on everyone's mind, any free samples? The people used to spend about 10 bucks with doing was buying broken chocolate bars. So they would sell the broken chocolate bars. And our challenge is we don't know what broken cannabis looks like. In Smith Falls, Ontario, Nigel Newlove, City News.